Alrighty campers, let's do ourselves another toolbox drawer review, shall we? This is the third drawer in my box there. We go KTL 23, best configured toolbox I think I've ever had. And in my opinion, probably about the best one ever. Talk about that later. Alright, so this is what I call my pliers drawer. It's got my pliers. It's got my pry bars on it. You can see there. And that's pretty much... I use a lot of this stuff pretty much every day. Uh, starting on this end, we've got the little the hose pliers, as they call them. I think these are all max as far as this goes. You can see they've got the ends. Reach around, twist the hoses free, pull them off. Got them in long reach and short reach. These dudes here don't even know if they make them. Again, this is another Mac. See the end of that? I don't know what they made these for, but I use them to do undo electrical connectors. Like if you come in here, where's an electrical connector? And you can squeeze, you come on this side here. Well, I'll just come in like this, even though this isn't how you do it. But it squeezes those tabs and it makes it really nice to get the electrical connectors off. Duck bills, and I've got some regular needle nose here. These pliers, oh, these are my fave. These snap-on ones, they're so awesome. I've had them for years. And every time I need a pair of pliers, this is the first pair I grab. But there is just something about these. I think it's just the grip. You can kind of get them at different angles. These things are just... Do yourself a favor. Buy yourself a pair of these. And then I've got some long needle nose and then some other kind of needle noses. I like these. These are new style. Got them just this year. Uh, with the flat see they've made them so it's flat and what that does is let you get more pressure on the end versus if you watch these guys they will flex see all that flex and it doesn't apply more as much pressure on the end so i got those in a what 45 and a 90 it looks like some more needle nose and then these funky dudes here this little set nip x you can get it so it's, i bought this as a three piece so you see that it's you can get down in there it's just some weird odd places come on focus and then you've got i think these are what they called s bents see it's a 90 kind of kind of cool and then it does the same thing but it just goes straight so those get into hard difficult places that are just sometimes like how the hell am i gonna get in there well there you go and then I've got some shorty 90s. These guys are cool. These old schoolers. Pick those up out of like a pick and pull or something like that. A pull and save. You know, one of them parts. Scrap yards or a salvage yard. You go pick pull parts. Found them in a car. And I just, I just have. They're fun. I've had them in my toolbox. Don't necessarily use them all the time. But hey, they're in there. And then I've got side cutters and. Oh, wire crimpers and all that stuff, you know, long, short, flat, regular. My, what you would say, channel locks. These are Nipex again. Super good quality. Nipex are, makes great pliers. They're a really good company. And I really like these. Now these are all push button and fancy, but when I bought these, you didn't have that option. Snap ring pliers here. Uh, these guys for the plastic panel clips. And if you notice on this plier rack here, because I got two separate ones, it ends here, begins there. Uh, they, they're designed like these first five where that bar is at to hold spring loaded stuff. So, and then these guys get in, get those little plastic panel clips. And whoever invented those plastic panel clips, come on, should be shot to begin with. So, those up there. Then we got some more snap on or snap ring pliers. Five scripts, of course. These are for taking off like fuel lines, vacuum lines. You got the tube side on one end because it's got a little knife blade. And you've got the hose side and you just go whoop and work them off. Some oil filter pliers, CV axle tool. Use those, I use these guys for doing time, holding the timing belts in place. Some Allen wrenches some little tiny dudes because sometimes that's all that fits some custom made screwdrivers some long one flat one needle nose 
these guys are super cool they came out with this these are the new radiator hose hooks or polars what you want to call them um, and they're really good they're designed to not poke a hole through the radiator hose uh, I really wish that I could get this shape in that size sometimes this always doesn't get where I need it to go which is why I still have the old schooler right and I still use it quite a bit more than just taking off radiator hoses or hoses in general that one and of course I've got the other variants of it um, and then this is my obviously it's my screwdriver it's just a magnetic holder there are all my different screwdrivers I got some oil filter wrenches here all different you know sizes and purposes the good old standard pick set these are what they call non marring seal pullers so they're designed to actually get in behind a seal and uh, pry it free so you can get it out without scratching the cam or the crank and then you have to end up doing a speedy sleeve and all that got this little dude it's for holding down holding up excuse me uh, hoods that there was a gas struts or been shot and they're no longer good and the hood's trying to fall on your head put this little bad boy on there clamp it down around the strut and away you go and a bigger set of channel locks some allen keys that i hardly ever use because you know they have them in sockets and then of course my pry bar set i'm not going to bust those out you can see them from there so that that's my pry bar set so that's uh pretty much it kind of in a nutshell I'll try to back up here i've got look at look at, look at what i got going on over here Look at that, one engine, two engine, three engines. So evidently it takes three engines to make one engine. That's a different story for a different day. No fault of our own, but whatever. So I get to put all that together today and hopefully get it in the car. So there you go, there's a quick, quick look at the drawer itself, what it looks like, and Dink. Close her up, and there you go. I guess you don't need to see what it's at. All right, have a good one, guys. Stay dirty, get her done, get dirty while you're doing it, but have some fun.